Hello and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Tech. Today we're taking a look at Linux Lite, which is an Ubuntu based distribution using the XFCE desktop environment. So, starting off, you've got your panel down here and programs. It comes with GIMP, Image Viewer, Scanner, Firefox, Thunderbird, VLC, no music player. So, no music player there. Install that yourself. Uh, LibreOffice, we on the office. Okay, so this is uh, obviously by the name Linux Lite. It's a lightweight distribution. I think the ISO came in at about just under a gig. So let's have a look. Quickly pop open a terminal. Let's see if we have HTOP installed. Okay, so it's using 384 megabytes out of 1.95. CPU utilization is pretty low. This is a virtual box, so we'll keep this open. It looks a, a lot like um, what you'd expect to find on that Bode Linux with the Moshka desktop. So let's go into the updates manager and see how it handles the updates. So let me just type in update. Pop in the password there. Okay. What we do is we move this panel up to the top. Alright, so we found some updates. It's found quite a few. So what we we'll do is we'll update that. And while it's doing that we'll have a look at what backgrounds it comes with. So desktop settings. No, oh, not bad. Quite a few there by the looks of it. So you've got your standard sort of XSCE one. That's not too bad. Right, we'll stick with this one for now. Right, what we'll do is we'll cut the video and we'll come back once this update's done. Okay, now we're back. So it asked me to do a quick reboot. Uh, I think sort of the update took about 15 minutes. Um, so yeah. Right, before we do anything, I want to just change the theme. I don't like that the whisker menu there's white. I know that there's a nice sort of dark arc theme. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. So if you go into appearance and it's this one I think so if I look there we go that's much better um, I'm also going to install plank if you watch any of my videos you'll know I always sort of install plank on an XFCE based distribution right let's press Y Okay, exit that. I also want to install the, the, the mocha icons. So quickly, I can't remember what the, um, the repository is, so just quickly get that up. And we'll also, while we're here, grab some themes for Plank. There you go, this little pack of three has the paper material one in which I like, so we'll download that. Alright, we'll open that. 
I'll just minimise that for the moment. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. Let's open another terminal. Just paste that in. Enter. And then let's just quickly do the up update. Sudo apt get update. And then we'll just paste that one in as well. Right, so while that's installing the icon themes, we're going to open Plank. Uh, press Control and right click to get into your preferences. We'll enable icon zoom. It won't work yet until you enable composition, compositor. Um, right so we want to install our themes now so if we go back to archive manager open that up and then it's these three here so press extract and in your home folder press control h go into local share plank themes and then just extract it there an error occurred that don't sound good okay let me just open that page up again and redo that might be something to do with that running we'll just double check alright so that's done we'll try that again now So open archive and then just do the same thing. So dot local share plank themes delete that that's left over from the um edit uh error that we just had. Uh we'll do that in a minute. So then extract. There we go. Go to show the files and then press control H nah see it's already they're gone I do believe so if we go back into home into Tyler dot local share plank themes yeah so let's put them in that folder we don't want it there we want it there and then we'll delete that right now what we'll do is we'll delete uh, close that so if we go back into settings we now want to enable the compositor so we can make um, things transparent and stuff like that so uh, windows manager tweaks up here do that and then you also want to untab that otherwise it interferes with your dock see look now it's doing the zoom effect so now go back onto the preferences of here and I want paper material and I want it a little bit smaller I do for now right now we want to change our icons so go back into settings appearance icons and then the ones we installed earlier mocha I always install mocha it's just a nice sort of uniformed icon theme there right now we've got it looking how we want oh no we don't we haven't made things transparent yet so go into panel preferences appearance and I usually just bring these two down to about 85 and then if we go into items go into whisker menu and we'll also bring that down to about 85 I'm oh, sorry the phone just went and then we'll also remove windows buttons 
wherever they are there they are so that's removed so now everything will always minimize to the dock and not to the top bar right just one more thing before we actually have a look at stuff um, this won't automatically start up on Linux Lite so what you have to do is go into startup right session and startup go into application startup add and just write plank in all three boxes and then that will open it up when you start up the system okay done looks how we want it so yeah nice and pretty so it doesn't come with music so that's a bit annoying i think even keeping the file size down they could have still squeezed in the music player there uh gimp comes with gimp so you know you can't really complain for your image editing internet comes with firefox and thunderbird no irc chat or anything which is good for me because i don't use it so it's one less thing to uninstall okay let's start opening a few things up and see how it manages it Right, so snapping works absolutely fine. No problem with snapping there. And then what we do is also we'd have a go into preferences, go into docklets, and we'll have a show desktop, and we'll pop it right at the end. Uh, will it go to the end? There we go. So then we can just press that and get back to our desktop okay so let's have a look at their software center hopefully it's a bit um, uh, the Bodhi one was very stripped down it was just a web page I'm hoping this is a bit different okay okay oh is this it right so it's not really a, a store as such it's um it's just a list of sort of programs that they want you to install i guess oh clementine while we're here we'll install clementine for the music player i guess that's all the stuff they wanted to put in but couldn't squeeze it into the small iso size right what else do they have on there can't see until that's done Okay, that installed fairly quickly. Just jump back into it a minute. So it also comes with Chromium, Dropbox, Kodi, Password Manager, VirtualBox, Steam, OpenShot. So it comes with, well, I say comes with, it allows you at the box to install most of what you'd want. Um, what we do is, though, we'll quickly install the Ubuntu Software Center. that way we don't have to we won't be just limited to the software that it tells you in the um in their light software tool right so top right you've got your clock notification area and then your virtual workspace switcher and then to the left you've got your whisker menu nothing out of the ordinary there light tweaks let's see what light tweaks is right so it's uh, basically like bleach bit or cc cleaner or something so automated clean up um we'll leave that okay so that's still going so here's the help menu if you get stuck want drivers or whatever else we'll uh we'll close that should we keep it open i want to check how much memory this is now using anyway that's still going 
tell you what, we'll just open up a new terminal. Open HTOP. There we go, so I'm really sque sort of squeezing that 2 gigabytes. so it's at 1.85. It's now using swap memory, it's using 726 megabytes of that, and CPU utilization is very low. So, I mean, what could it have you open? So you've got one, two, two, three. So you've got three browsers open, a terminal installing, well that stopped installing now, and LibreOffice. So if we close all this up, we'll close these up. We'll see how quickly that drops. Right, so the swap memory's dropped down to 389 now. Oh, sorry, we had it backwards. So the swap memory is what's at 1.85 gigs. Sorry, my brain and my eyes were looking at the wrong thing. So yeah, memory's actually quite low, so that's fine. Three point, uh, 389 megabytes. Okay. Make sure the software center is installed. Yep, so what we'll do is we'll open that and we'll pin it to. Oh, it doesn't let you pin it there. Okay. Um. This is system information. I prefer this to Bode Linux so far actually, it looks nicer. Let's have a look at the file manager. So for now 1.6.11, nothing there, we'll just quickly press Control H just to hide them folders again. So there you have it, that's my first impressions of Linux Lite built on top of Ubuntu uh, late long term release I think not bad overall one of the better sort of stripped down Ubuntu ones I've seen so far and I might use this on a um, on my little gigabyte bricks thank you for watching and please subscribe